everyone speaks about chakra online but do they really know what they are about and how to actually use them to grow spiritually and personally there is 114 chakra within the human body and those are separated into Ida and Pingala. In the more primitive word, it will mean feminine energy and masculine energy. And all of those 114 chakras are connected with vein, just like blood that allows itself to flow throughout every organ of the body. But instead of being called a vein, it is a nadi, and there is 72,000 of them. Out of those 114 chakra, there is only 108 on which we can work upon, balance, energize, purify. Because some are outside the body, some are already perfect the way they are, and some are just unavailable just like some will balance themselves automatically if you take care of the seven main one and as you might have been seeing in many pictures with circle with colors within the human body that represent the chakra there are seven main one the main energy center of the body and the first one is right here it is called muladhara or in English, we would call it the root chakra. And all chakra are related to an organ and also to an emotion. The root chakra is the one that is connected to the emotion of fear. One who is always fearful of everything has a disbalanced root chakra. The root chakra is a lot about survival as survival is the first thing to take care of. There is no need to talk about happiness, about love, meditation, spirituality. If you are not even able to live without being afraid of having a huge dinosaur that is gonna hit you, a lion that tried to attack you. So first is survival. The second chakra is known as Swadhisthana, or in English it is the Sacral Chakra. This one is connected a bit to our sexual organ, just like Muladala, the first chakra is, and also to the kidney. And emotionally, it is connected to joy. Our ability to just be joyful within ourselves without depending on outside situation to give us reasons to feel this joy energically it is connected to the energy of creation and creativity now the third chakra manipura or in english it is called solar plexus chakra which is utter nonsense because it is not located on the solar plexus. In many pictures, you will find Manipura being shown right here, under the chest. But this is a lie, this is nonsense. And this is why I often explain that if you get your information from the West, from information from America, be careful. There are lots of chance that it is corrupt or wrong. The Manipura Chakra is not located here. It is instead right above your belly button. And this is known to be the fire center of the body. And even in modern science and biology, the intestine are known as the fire of the human body. And they are actually connected together, the organs and the chakra once again. Manipura will be emotionally connected to your willpower, your ability to take action and go for your goals, for your dream, your ability to be self-confident, but not in an egoistic way, more because you have 
clarity. And when we eat bad food, we are destroying the fire of digestion. It is the equivalent of throwing something that is not combustible into a fire. It will lower the power of the fire more and more. But when you put fuel into the fire, it grow even stronger and will burn everything more effortlessly. And similarly, when you eat positive pranic food, you make your manipula stronger, your fire stronger. When you eat meat, bread, dairy products that are from the nasty industry that we know, and other such food, junk food, etc., then you are destroying your digestive system physically, which affects energetically your Manipura chakra, making it weak. And yet, this energy center is connected to your immune system, to your vitality, to your health. It is also the one where all the 72,000 nadis connect together as the center point. So take care of your Manipura by eating properly or you will pay the price the hard way. Now let's move away from the first three chakra because from here to here it is survival. And now the heart chakra is the energy center that is like the bridge between survival and spirituality. Emotionally, the heart chakra is not connected to relationship. It is connected to the energy of love. Because there is plenty of people who are more loving, joyful, happy, just sharing their gratitude with everybody, who are single, next to the amount of people who have a boyfriend and a girlfriend, but actually know nothing about love. Because true love is not what I give to you and what I receive. True love is your ability to be loving within yourself, to just live in the energy of love. And it is said everywhere, that God is love. Love is the universal language of the universe. So when you balance your heart chakra, it also gives a great balancement to the other chakras of your body, because this one too is an energy center where almost everything happens, similarly to Manipula, but in a different manner. And it is obviously connected to the organ of the heart, which is also very close to the thymus gland right above the heart, connected to it, which is also strong for the immune system as it creates T cells, the cells that go on and destroy virus and sickness within you. So when you are abundant in love, you don't wait to receive to give, and you don't need something external to feel love. Your heart chakra will be balanced. And something that highly blocks this chakra is grief. For example, when someone passed away and you feel sad, let's say it happened today, it's okay to be sad, it's normal. But if it happened two years ago and you still cry about this loved one who lost their body, then you are destroying your heart chakra because grief is unhealthy. And the love that you had for this person and the love that this person had for you still exists and will appear in different physical form. So never you can lose love. Now let's move to the three last chakra, which are connected to the spiritual realm, which means that it does not care at all about survival, all those kinds of emotion from Maya, from Samsara, which means the illusion. Starting with the Vishdi, the throat chakra. It is connected physically to your thyroid gland, and the thyroid gland is the one that decides the percentage of energy sent into every other organs of your body. So it is an extremely important organ. 
and energetically and emotionally. It is a very neutral chakra. It is either about joy or about sadness, just no emotion at all. It is instead your ability to be neutral, to see everything as it is, without opinion, without ego, without like and dislike. It is also known as the divine filter that will allow you to have an idea when you receive information if this might just be rubbish or if this is relevant and worthy of investigating further about it. It is often said that when you are unable to speak properly, it means your throat chakra is blocked. But this is a myth. Because when you cannot speak properly, it is because you are fearful, you have no self-confidence, and this comes to manipula. Because remember, survival, spirituality. Vishuddhi the throat chakra cannot care less about your ability to be a salesman, to convince others, to speak about your day, how school went, how work went. This is rubbish to Vishuddhi. Vishuddhi in the speech way is about speaking existential truth so speaking in a way that never allow duality to exist speaking in a way that you know you are nobody and yet everybody is you as well now the third eye the most popular of all the chakra the star of the chakra this one is connected to the pineal gland, which is a special part of your brain, which can be easily affected and calcified by bad food, toothpaste with fluoride and water with fluoride. This energy center is the one that burns delusion, that will show you experientially that you are a unity experiencing life as a duality. It is the one that allows you to perceive beyond the five senses. Because even modern science is saying now that all you see is not the truth, it is not the existential truth. Between myself and the camera, there seems to be some emptiness, but in fact, it is filled with atoms everywhere with oxygen, carbon dioxide, bacteria, insect, the list goes on and on. And the whole existence is like a wave of atoms that just move throughout everything, including your body, as if it did not exist. So right now, this hand is believed to be my atoms. But as I take the Shivalingam crystal, the atoms of this Shivalingam end of my hand is interchanging together. There is no privacy at all. Everything goes into each other. And lastly, the last of the seven main chakra is the crown chakra, relied to the pituitary gland, which is also within the brain. And when a baby is born, it is known that they have a soft spot here on the top of the head where you have to be careful because it is not fully developed. And this is where the soul enters the body. And as long as this part is soft, it allows the soul to leave the body if it feels that it is not adequate for itself. And once it becomes hard, then it is when the soul is really staying in the body for sure unless of course an accident happened and the soul leave the body as the body dies emotionally the crown chakra is connected to our earthly attachment which means all attachment that you might have whether it is with your mother with your father with your kid with your friend with an object with a video game your passion anything at all including your own body your own mind and your personality because there is no need to even try to be unattached to someone else or to something 
because the true attachment that is the cause of all your suffering is the attachment that you have to yourself or should I say to your fake self this body is your vehicle it is not you your thought process is a recycling computer it is not you your like and dislike and your whole ego your personality is just the byproduct of all the external situation and environment since the day you were born all of this has nothing to do with your true self so when you lose all attachment with this and even with physical life then you are free of any possible source of attachment and only then true enlightenment can happen one who is afraid of death cannot be enlightened one who wish to live forever in this physical realm cannot be enlightened and let's say a word about enlightenment right now when the energy moves from muladhara the first chakra all the way up to the seventh one you are enlightened but it is not something that you can keep and just have forever. You are only enlightened while the energy is able to flow properly. Which means that in a single second, you can go from enlightenment to being back asleep. Which is why it is fundamental to energize your whole body and balance it with the proper spiritual practices. And if you want to know more about them, check out the link within the description. So I want to hear from you. Which of your chakra do you believe to be the strongest and why? Or which of them do you believe to be the weakest on which you need to work upon? Let us know within the comment. And if you wish easy practices that will allow you to send energy from the first chakra into all the 114 chakra using the nadis, then I welcome you lovingly to check out this video right here. If you found any value out of this video, please hit the like button, comment and especially subscribe. Thank you so much for your love.